Yo my people, what is good? What is good? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rom. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Nike Dunk High. I've had so many of them on the channel. It is a favorite of mine and I have the latest colorway on the channel today. We're going to be taking a closer look at the Nike Dunk High in the Moon Fossil colorway. Check these out. Yes, people, I hope everything is good with you. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at this Moon Fossil Night Dunk High, and I'm going to be looking at the materials used, sizing, resale, and I'm going to be giving you that on feet look as well. Let's get straight into the review. Let me start the video by saying I'm not going to focus too much on the plastic leather on the 2021 Dunks, which we can find on this shoe. I'm going to be focusing more on the positives and one of the main positives of this shoe is definitely this colorway. I do like this colorway, I do like the color blocking on the shoe as well. I do like this shade of grey on the shoe, I think it's very very cool, this moon fossil. I think it's a very very nice colorway, one of the cleaner colorways I've seen in a long time when it comes to this shoe. Very very cool in my opinion. So this sneaker dropped in the UK a few days ago, retail was £99 and that's the usual price for a Nike Dunk High. The Nike Dunk Highs have really grown on me this year, even from the back end of last year I picked up a few pairs. Even though I'm more of a Dunk Low guy, I do like how the Dunk Low fit and how they look on feet. I do think the Dunk Highs have really stepped their game up this year. We've seen some really decent colorways and I do think it's a good alternative when it comes to trying to get the colorway that you want from a Jordan 1 High. Sometimes it's just too expensive to get that Jordan 1 High when you can get the Dunk in the exact same colorway for half the price. I think it's more of a no-brainer, but then again, you're kind of getting half the shoe, especially the ones that you get this year. So I've mentioned quite a bit about the colorway and the materials on the shoe, and we're gonna be taking a closer look right now. So we're gonna start with that toe box. You get a black leather toe box. The mud guard is done in the exact same material, and it's done in that moon fossil gray, which I think is a very, very nice color. You come to the laces, you get your usual laces in that gray color, that moon fossil color. Pretty decent, you get your tongue which is in nylon and the tongue tab with the Nike logo. That has more of a sparkly type of look to it when it touches the light. Very, very cool in my opinion. I've, obviously this is a woman's shoe so those little touches are pretty cool for this shoe. So when you come to the side of the shoe, you get that nice color blocking with the moon fossil on the black. I think it's a very, very nice color blocking. You get your, your Nike swoosh stitched in in that moon fossil colorway. You come to the back of the shoe and it's the exact same. You get your nice color blocking, you get your, your moon fossil color and the black as well. You look at the midsole, the midsole is done in that white. Really cool shade of white, there's a normal shade of white when it comes to that midsole. You come to the outsole and you get a really nice outsole. I think the shoe is really, really cool. Um, there's a few quality control issues on the shoe which I'm not a big fan of, but then again, you're kind of getting what you're paid for. There's some glue stains on the shoe, but it retails for £99, so you're you're getting what you pay for basically. But I think it's a really cool shoe in the end. Like I do think the colour blocking and the colourway on this shoe is pretty decent, very wearable, so it's definitely one I'm gonna keep for the long term. So when it comes to sizing, I always go through the size on the dunk high, dunk lows, any Nike shoes. I always go true to size. The only time I go half a size up when it comes to Nikes is definitely those SB Dunks. They fit a little bit different, so I always go half a size up. So, but definitely for these, true to size. So that brings us on to resale. And as I mentioned before, this is a women's exclusive. So sizes only go up to UK nine and a half. I do see all of the sizes reselling for around about that same price. So this shoe retail for hundred pounds or 99 pounds in the UK. And I do see these shoes reselling for around 120 to about 150 in most sizes. I do not, do not expect that to go up significantly. I expect that to hold. So this is definitely one I would not invest in, but it's definitely one to keep for the collection. I do think this shoe is very, very wearable, very comfortable, very clean pair of dunks. So definitely one to hold on to and just rock these, man. They're decent. So my final thoughts on this shoe is, I think it's a really good colorway. Really clean, nice color blocking. I think overall the Dunks is always a must go in my opinion. You can never go wrong with getting a pair of Dunks. Price point is always decent when it comes to retail. Even the resale prices this year, you can pick them up at a really good price as well. So it's definitely one to copy. If you're in the market for a Dunk High, this is definitely it. The colorway is pretty nice as well, very wearable. So 
definitely a must cop. Yes, my people, that is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it and found the information useful. Please remember to hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Peace.